first and foremost, let us give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Makakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders who rule well a great millstone. A peace and salutation to the Yakims of the pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth. And Shalom to all the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Shalom to the nation of Israel. Coming out with this lesson, I'm dealing with temptation. Um, but before that, I decided to say, you blacks, you Hispanics, and Latinos, you so-called Slaki, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Latinos are the children of Israel. You are from the 12 tribes. You are the chosen people the Bible speaks of. You are the 144,000 elect and the wanted that will be saved, right? The white man is the devil, the Esau, right? They are the Edomites, they are the dragons, right? They are the wicked that the Bible speaks about. And you people need to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Otherwise, you will perish with this earth, right? He that loves the earth shall die with it, shall be destroyed with it, right? So, without further ado, let me get into this lesson on temptation. And the first scripture I'm going to is Matthew chapter 26, verse. 41 It say watch and pray that she enter not into temptation <laughs> the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak right and this is true because they are everyday fight with the spirit and the flesh as you say the flesh is weak the flesh is susceptible to sin right let me go to a quick Precept in Mark chapter 7, verse 20. Right, and he said, That which cometh out of the man that defied the man, for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. An evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Right, so the scripture is showing you here. Let me go back to Matthew. So, okay, Matthew chapter 26 is 41. Right, they say, Watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, and in Mark 7 and 20 to 23, it's showing us, right? Murder, covetousness, la. Um, lasciviousness, it's like if I pronounce in the word wrong, um, pridefulness, right? All these wicked things has come out of the um, out of the heart, out of the flesh, right? Because the flesh, as I said before, the flesh is susceptible to sin, the flesh is a, a very weak thing, right? But the spirit, the spirit indeed is willing, you understand? So you had to, you had to fight the flesh and you had to pray to the most that they give you the strength to do that. Right. We go to James, book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Submit yourselves therefore to Yahweh, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Most High and He shall lift you up. Okay. We need to humble ourselves to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. We need to submit ourselves to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. He is our ultimate strength. He is our power. He is our everything. We cannot survive without the Most High. Right? And as James 4 verse 7, right, the second part is say resist the devil and he will f f um, flee from you. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be resisting the devil. Right? We're supposed to be resisting Esau, resisting this earth. You understand? We're not supposed to be a part of this world. You understand? We're not supposed to be stressing these things on this earth. Right? We main priority in this truth. Right? This is worship the most high, keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And preach the law, statutes and commandments. 
Right? That is our that is our only that should be our main priority, our utmost priority, nothing else. Right? As we say they say yeah, draw nigh to the most and he will draw nigh to you. Right? So you're supposed to be meditating in this truth, meditating in this scripture, is praying and fasting. Right? You're supposed to be all the time, you know, resonating in the spirit of the most high. Right? That is drawing nigh to the most and you will draw nigh to you. Right? Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded, right? That dealing with repentance. You know, we need to repent from these wicked sins. We need to repent from all the wicked things that we have done. Right? And ask the most high for forgiveness for what we have done in this life and in our past lives. And to forgive our ancestors. Which are we? Right? You need, to, you need to ask forgiveness every day. Right? Alright, let me go to Ephesians. Chapter 6. Verse 11. It says, Put on the whole armor of Yahweh of the Most High, that she may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all um, perseverance and supplication for all saints. So like a perseverance and supplication for all saints. Alright. So you see I said the sword of the spirit which is the word of the most high. The scriptures. That is the sword. You understand that is our sword. Alright. So this is our beautiful. This is beautiful scriptures here. Right. Because this is what we're supposed to do. Right? We're supposed to, as I say, put on the whole armor of the most high. Right? Because if we rest not against flesh and blood, and this is not a physical war, you know? this is a mental and spiritual war. Right? This is spiritual warfare. That is why you need to resonate in the, the, the laws of the most high. That is why you need to pray and ask for guidance, strength, and protection. Right? Because this is the only way we're making it out of here. You, nobody, these two thirds and these other nations, not going to survive. Well, the other nations are going to survive anyway. But the two thirds, right? They believe. Some of them believe that 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 Jesus will save them. Some of them believe Allah, right, will save them, or the other foolish gods, right? And some of them believe that physical training going to save them, right? To only have one we one assurance of safety in these latter times and I true Yahweh Bashim El Shai. It's a it's it's upon the whole arm of the most I have your loins good with the truth, breastplate of righteousness, featured with the preparation of the gospel of peace, shield of faith, right? Sword of spirit, right? This this be supposed to be in the shoot, this supposed to be in the shoot day in and day out. In your mind constantly, right? Thinking about scripture, you know, thinking about prophecy, and I'm just, I'm just being in the truth at all times, really resonate with you, you understand? It vibrated in you. Right, um, last scripture will be James chapter 1, verse 12. It say, Blessed is the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Most High hath promised to them that love him. Alright? So, brothers and sisters, in these latter times, right? 
we have to endure temptation right we have to endure all the lusts right all the sin right you have to fight the flesh you have to fight and endure these things and there will come a time where we will be killed for the most high with the guillotine right we can't fear death can't be afraid to die or to lay down your life for you have a bush in your shy right in times of farming, right? That temptation, right? With this that microchip, the mark of the beast, you have to endure that, you can't take the chip, right? You can't take that mark of the beast, you have to endure that, right? You have to be strong, right? Survival of the fittest, in a sense, right? Only, only the strongest live, right? And the strength is not in muscles, right? The strength is in the power of the most high. Alone, nothing else. Right? With that, say, all praises, honor, and glory always will and all will always go to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Makakodash. That is say, stay safe, Israel, stay strong, continue to preach this word, continue to study, right? Continue to keep these laws, continue to pray to the Most High. Right. Continue to resonate in this truth. Shalom.